Off the top tonight, Metro flags at half staff in honor of a Metro employee who was shot to death at the Potomac Avenue station. 64 year old Robert Cunningham was killed while trying to stop an active shooter. Arnana Senyo Bonsu joins us now live with the latest on this horrific tragedy that sent three other people to the hospital. Nana? Robin Marina, good evening. Things are much quieter here at the Potomac Avenue Metro Station. A couple people coming in and out, but it's very quiet. But one thing that you will notice I would like to show you guys um, is this growing memorial. We have some riders walking by, oh, and they're taking a look at it. These are flowers people have laid on the ground for Robert Cunningham, the Metro employee who was shot and killed here today in the tragedy. I feel really sad and this morning's tragic event is top of mind for Metro riders. I was walking down the Metro right now and felt a little scared and horrified. Horrified after hearing about what unfolded at a place she frequents often. I saw all these people just take off, just run like chaotically jumping over fences. Kara Wayman was inside the station during the shootings. I was just horrified that three people were shot and Robert Cunningham was killed, a mechanic just doing his job. She stopped by the station tonight to pay her respects. I left a card upstairs for the workers and the family. A card that reads to the loved ones of Robert Cunningham and the other victims of the February 1st atrocity. Leaders with Metro say 64-year-old Cunningham was an employee with the Transit Authority for more than 20 years. Just a, just a brutal day for us here at Metro. D.C. Police's Executive Assistant Chief Sean Benedict says today's shootings took place in several parts. It started outside on a Metro bus. The shooter got into some altercation with another rider before shooting them in the leg. After that, the gunman entered the station, went down the escalator, confronts someone trying to buy a Metro card, and shoots him in the leg. The shooter continues down the escalators to a busy platform where police say he tried to rob a woman. That's where Robert Cunningham and another Metro employee tried to intervene, and Cunningham was shot. He's walking around uh, brandishing a firearm and just randomly engaging people. Uh, in conversation. He's clearly agitated. After shooting Cunningham, police say that's when the suspect started hopping on and off a train, and that's when riders stepped in. When I saw his back, this is when I jumped on him, and they both collapsed. The fact that our citizens have to intervene uh, with armed gunmen is, is disturbing to me. D.C. police apprehended the suspect on the platform before taking him into custody. Police are still looking for a motive. We're told the other three victims are expected to be okay. It's a terrible day for the city. A very terrible day, and we just have news coming in right now from D.C. police that that shooter, the suspect that police apprehended on the platform, we now have an ID. We're told 31-year-old Isaiah Trotman of Southeast D.C. was arrested and charged with first-degree murder while armed, kidnapping while armed, and assault with a dangerous weapon. Again, that was the ID for the man that police arrested here at the station. Now, police Police are saying, yes, they do have someone in custody, but they are still calling on the community. They say anyone who is at the station today who may have heard something, saw something, or even has video, you're asked to please share it with the police and for their investigation. Back to you guys. Nana sent you bonus with the latest from Southeast. Nana, thank you for that update. Now, in light of today's shooting and previous crimes on Metro, we asked you, do you feel safe riding the Metro? Well, nine out of ten of you say no, you don't. But if you want to go ahead and cast your vote, it's still not too late. You see the QR code there on your screen. You can go ahead and take a shot of that. You can weigh there, or you can head over to our website at fox5dc.com or on our Fox 5 app.